Welcome back guys to another video. Got something pretty special for you guys, especially let's talk about what JP Morgan Chase is betting on. And they're betting on this Chinese company pretty big. So it's always a blast to see what like JP Morgan Chase is doing, what BlackRock is doing, what Goldman Sachs is doing. It's always nice to see what the big guys are doing. And then we look at it, we talk about it, and then we calculate our moves to determine if this is the right thing to do. Because a lot of times like ARK Invest, Vanguard, when they purchase something, they have really good research teams that actually look through it. And when they're spending millions of dollars out of their own pockets on a specific move or trade, they better bet they need to make money. If they keep losing money, that's a bad thing. Before we dive any deeper into what Chase is purchasing, definitely check out the free Discord server with more than 22,000 members in the description below. There's a Patreon link as well, and my second channel, which is mostly focused on heavily edited Tesla videos. So the option they're buying is going to be JD.com. You clearly see it says JP Morgan Chase and Company, and they're buying a ton of calls for JD. Now, this is a Chinese e-commerce site. They purchased roughly 480,000 call contracts, spent roughly $36 million on this, and this is 0.01% of the portfolio. Now, 0.01% of a portfolio may not seem a lot, but this is a ton of for a big bank like JP Morgan Chase. And these are options, not shares, which is very dangerous. Now, Chase and these big guys, they are not Wall Street bets. They don't buy call options that expire in just a few weeks. Now, these JD calls are most likely expiring in the next six to 12 months, maybe even the next two years. They're playing the long term. A lot of times, these calls may act as a hedge or a lot of times, if they bought a bunch of shares at JD.com and they feel like the stock could go up even further, they usually supplement that with some calls, which is pretty smart. And JD.com in the past five years, it's been doing really well. It did go down to $21, but eventually it went up to $84. I feel like JD.com, especially how it did drop a lot in the past three months, it's the perfect time to buy the dip. The peak was $92, it was about to hit 100, but of course now it's 84. And if you check out JD.com, at this current moment, 2019 revenues were roughly $83 billion, roughly 800 plus warehouses, and almost half a billion annual active customers. 90% of the orders are being placed through mobile. If you check out JD.com, this is kind of like Alibaba. This is where you buy your stuff, and people seem to like it. It's e-commerce, and JD's business is growing at a rapid pace. A lot of people in China love using JD.com because it's super simple, it's super quick to use, and the shipping is fast. Like what Jeff Bezos says, the best thing about e-commerce and the most important thing is you have to have fast shipping, good prices, and a large selection. JD.com has all three of these. A huge selection of electronics, everyday goods and items, very competitive prices, and a lot of times there's amazing deals on JD.com and fast shipping. Their logistics service is incredible. If you check out ARK Invest, they have been buying JD.com at an exponential rate. In the very beginning, they bought roughly 250,000 shares, and now they have roughly 1.5 million shares. In just the past few weeks, ARK went from 1.2 million to 1.5 million, increased their position by a huge amount of 300,000 shares. And JD.com, for the third quarter of 2020, they had roughly $25 billion. Now, 2020 isn't over yet, but everyone is kind of predicting that JD.com should be making 100 to maybe $105 billion, which is a massive increase from 2019's $82 billion. So it's pretty nice, especially how JD.com is expanding and their logistics service is really big. Speaking of the logistics, if you check this out, you know, a year back they had roughly 650 warehouses. Now they have 800. They have several different fulfillment centers in 29 cities. The platform can fulfill approximately 90% of JD's orders across China within 24 hours. That's super quick. And their logistics unit is super big to the point that they might even take JD Logistics public as a separate company, but JD.com, the parent company, will rake in the benefits. It's very similar to how JD made JD Health public in Hong Kong this month, December 8th, 2020. 
This is pretty big, especially how JD is very, very smart. They know if they let their branch companies go public, they make even more cash. And they were also raises massive amounts of capital. JD Health went public in Hong Kong. They made a lot of money from that. And they may even consider taking their logistics unit public as well. Now, a lot of people don't really do this, but JD seems to be doing this really, really well. They have this really good schedule and this really good management system where even if they have their own spinoffs and also their own branch companies going public, everyone could definitely profit. It's very similar to how Amazon Logistics is worth roughly $200, $300 billion. If it goes public by itself, it's going to be super big. JD has already made its health branch go public, and they may even consider going through their logistics, making their logistics branch go public as well. So what I'm saying here is JD.com is pretty flexible. They don't kid around, and I feel like they really went from a very small e-commerce site to a very big giant. They have the logistics branch, they have the health branch. Really does remind you of Tesla, which is more than just a car manufacturer. They have a battery branch and a software branch. JD.com, health, logistics branch, and also their core, which is e-commerce. So JD is pretty smart, they're doing a lot of things, and ARK is consistently buying the dip. And you can clearly see JP Morgan Chase kind of knows this and is going really long and bullish on JD.com, especially how the e-commerce space in China is growing faster than before. Now, obviously though, JD.com in the past several weeks, it has hit some hiccups. It has you know been really flat, but usually the way how JD stocks work is it has a lot of flatness for several weeks and maybe even a few months, and then a massive surge up. After that, a slow and steady rise or a flat market, and then a massive surge. At this current moment, JD.com is being extremely flat. Now, there are a lot of tensions between the US and China. We do have like the delisting thing going on, which is pretty scary. Hopefully, the trade war doesn't escalate any further. But the market cap of JD.com is a 111 billion. Now, what are my thoughts about this? I think JP Morgan Chase is pretty big, especially how Amazon, for example, it's already more than a trillion dollars. So if you want Amazon to keep going up, it's a little bit difficult. But for these younger e-commerce companies like JD.com, for example, it's a lot easier for them to go up. If they report really good sales, stocks goes up. Especially how the e-commerce sector in China is growing rapidly. JD is pretty smart, even launching their health department public they may even launch a logistics department to, uh, public. And I feel like Chase is doing a really good call telling JD to go up. I mean, buying these calls on JD.com, it's not that bad. ARK Invest is consistently buying the dip. I feel like this is one of the few Chinese companies out there that are actually poised to succeed, especially how they do have several different branches. Shipping is extremely fast. And they also follow Bezos's three steps to success, which is a lot of products, which JD has, really competitive prices, which JD has, and also really, really fast shipping. Yeah, we all know that they have that as well. So I feel like JD.com is a pretty good stock. It's really up to you to decide if you wanna invest in, but Chase is going in pretty hard, buying a ton of call options, roughly 30 to $40 million. You have ARK Invest buying even more shares of JD.com, so it's really up to you. I feel like we could be seeing some massive explosive growth in the Chinese world of e-commerce. Thanks for watching, guys, and comp below. Happy holidays.